Hello everybody, this is Ben85 and welcome back to another episode of TerraFarmerCraft. I have been exploring all over the place. I ended up being probably about 6,000 blocks to the north. Well, to the northwest of home. And I made my big loop and I was coming back and I ran into some dacite which wasn't the type of rock I needed but then I ran into chalk and chalk is a sedimentary rock which is where kaolinite is and I saw this cave open and I thought well let's look inside and I did it at night and I was coming through and I saw a hint of red down there a medium sample of kaolinite there is a large large area of kaolinite over there but the question is is how to get here to get to it safely which is what I've been trying to do here it's been a while since I've actually been caving well, let's open up to the top too Salt. We're familiar with that rock. So we gotta get down below there. It looks like it changes over down there. Like I said, we gotta find a good spot to get down there though. And for the moment, I'm not sure. I suppose I could drop some stuff. I could drop down right here. Should be able to get back up from here. Ooh, what kind of rock is this? Oh, look at this cave. Holy cow. There is bad stuff all over the place here. All over the place. And you're going to tell all your zombie friends to come over and say hi to me, aren't you? So I think it's all like right there. It's all right there. Ooh, creeper too. Oh, creepers galore. And another creeper? It sounds like there's a skeleton up above me. Oh, there he is. I got no choice but to go take him on. What is this? Oh, this is a schist. A green rock. An interesting rock. But this, this is what we need. Right here. Kaolinite. And look at this deposit. Wowzers. I feel the safest on the top here. Hopefully nothing wants to cave in. We know our exit is where the torches are. <laughs> this is one of the dan most dangerous mining expeditions we have been on. Did not want to fall down. So how much should we grab? We had, uh, oh shoot, skeleton. We're attempting to dodge him. 
Oh, he still hit me. Okay, he died. Oh, no. Ooh. Well, that's, uh, that's one way to mine out a bunch of it. Took out my torch, though. Uh, we got two stacks. We have just shy of four stacks. So I want to get at least that much uh, um, of graphite. Because I want it to be able to match up to the graphite. So I'm just going to quick here. Grab as much of it as I can before anything bad comes over here. I'm paranoid as can be. There's a creeper coming. No. Haha, I can I cannot race you on this. One more hit, one more hit. I think I got a skeleton coming though. Which is the last thing I want. At least it seems like the bottom here is uh, relatively stable. Um, shoot. We got a skeleton coming over. Come on, come on, come on. Ouch. Can't take too many more hits. One, two, three. Uh, this is three and a half stacks. I don't want to take the one that's uh, got the torch. There's actually not a whole lot left of this deposit. They said this is one of the few ores that uh, develops like this in a cluster. Whereas, you know, most of them are, uh, excuse me for that, um, in a vein, per se, and you have to find it, these will cluster. And that right there gives you the true color of the schist. Now, I don't forgo ever needing um, or using any schist. Although I thought about, you know, marking this spot down if we ever wanted to get some. It's, it's a tempting thought. I don't need a snowball. If I stay down here, I'm out of their line of sight until I do that. Waiting for it to show up on my hotbar there. There we go. I don't have any more room in, actually I do have a little bit of room in um, the vessels that I have in my barrel. A skeleton right there. That's a javelin skeleton too. He saw me. Oh, he did. I think it's time for me to make my exit. Um, there are two pieces of marble here. 
That should work. Okay, that gets us to there. And we should be free now. Because I laddered it the rest of the way up. Now I must admit, I've utilized Smart Moving before, uh, the mod. And it is a good fit for... Ooh, I could actually use this for Terraforma Craft, but I think I will go without it. Oh, does this feel good? And I'm almost... Actually, I have one more thing of food, so... But it's turning night, of course. Ah, and we have... A long ways to go. To give you an idea, I came way up here and then started. Wow. Anyways, started coming back down here. Oh, actually, I'm not as far up as I thought because I've come through all this area. Oh, interesting. So yeah, I just gotta make it home. I wanna get my health up here. My armor, ooh, my chest plate is taking a beating. But we have Kaolinite, which means that we have the ability to make fire clay, I believe. Ooh. I am somehow in that mode there we go fire clay so yeah regular clay graphite kaolinite oh yeah we're we are golden we are set to go and this stuff is absolutely amazing so amazing but I'm gonna start heading back home to the south I go so I will see you guys back home so that we can make a crucible as well as because I want to show you guys what we're going to make out of a crucible but or how, how we're going to use it but the other thing we need to learn how to use is the bloomery I think I'm about ready to build it <laughs> So I'll see you guys back home. All right guys, so I think we did pretty darn good here. We've got almost four stacks of graphite and just about seven stacks of kaolinite. And on top of that, I also picked up some sphalerite that I found on the way back. Uh, it was regular stuff, so I wasn't gonna complain. So I think what I'm gonna do, I made myself another uh, quern mostly because you know the one that's in the house we don't want to use we, we're using that for food we don't want to use that for grinding up this stuff so what we need is four of each if I remember correctly so let's grind it up I think that did one yep oh. I'm going to need four clay as well. Two, three. That was three times. That animation is so good now. So good. Uh, then the graphite. I love the fact that you can see within there. It also gives you the ability to look and see while there's still some to process, you know? If you're not counting. Obviously this was three. And then this will be four. So then this will disappear. Perfect. So you're probably wondering what is the crucible being used for? Oh you know what? I needed five. Whoops. Let's quick uh let's quick grind up one more. Oop. 
Can I get that there? I forgot that I needed five fire clay. The crucible is going to be an important step up in what we do. So fire clay. Oh, that's right. I can't shift click in. I forgot about that. It's going to be, oh, it doesn't matter what you put, uh, what you put where. And that was not supposed to happen. Oh, you know what? I just got to start over. There, there, and there. And now I can just shift put it in like that. And we have five fire clay. Now I want to make sure I get this right. You leave the outside. Because you get one shot at this, basically. Perfect. A crucible. Now you might be wondering, what would you use a crucible for? I mean, I was really hoping that didn't break. Well, it goes on the forge for one thing here. So I'm going to shift click it on. Should still be able to access it. Yep, the forge is accessible and the crucible is accessible. So here is the cool part. We need to get some of this stuff. I think they actually make it a little bit easier to get to the the forge underneath. So we'll let the forge heat up. And what I'm gonna want to grab some copper. Actually I think I want to burn through some of this poor tetrahedrite. We've got a little bit of sphelerite in here. And here's some more poor. Um I think it's in here. Yeah, this is where my bismuth is. Let's grab a little bit of the bismuth out. Should be enough. So you'll notice the crucible now heats up. Once the forge is heated up. Oh, night's fallen. I should probably eat. Or at least eat what I had. So here's the cool part. Once this gets heated up, what we're going to do is we're going to throw in some copper. It'll show us we have 30 units of copper right now. So if we're looking for our ratio here, what else do I have? I have so a 25 unit of that and 25 of that. So I believe if I like throw this in here, you notice how it's giving me my percentages and you can see that I don't have enough copper in there. So if I do this, still don't have enough. What am I shy on? Oh, I have too much bismuth in there right now. So a little more copper and this will make bismuth bronze. It fits the category. Now we have 125. So basically what you can do is you can just kind of throw some stuff in there and it'll slowly melt it up. It takes some heat out of the call or out of your crucible every time you put it in there. And it looks like if we put one more in, or maybe one more, we we'll reach the right level. There we go. So we got some bismuth bronze in here. We have 250 units, and we have some in here. So now, if you ever want to get it out of there, you just throw in the mold, and what it'll do is it'll put them put it in the mold. So now basically it allows us to make stuff up as we go here. Now if you really want to make things easy as far as making your different, um, this one only, oh, never mind. Making your different, uh, your alloys. I'm going to get these guys out. What you do is when you come back, let's say I have a bunch of sphelerite in here, you make up you put all the sphelerite into here, make it all into ingots, 
and then whenever you need it, you know, you just grab an ingot off of the shelf. Because if you do it that way, you know, you you can figure out you need, you know, 30, you need 3 ingots, like 2 ingots of bingot, bismuth, and then 5 ingots of copper. And it's all a ratio then. So it actually makes things a little bit easier. And then we gotta throw a little one more mold in there. We'll pull the rest of it out. And we get an odd amount. That's okay. And I'm gonna pull this out hot actually. Oh I can't. Because it's not uh it's still too hot, it's still a liquid. So let's just cool it down. So just like that, without having to wait to make anything like that, we got ourselves three more ingots of bismuth bronze. Pretty cool, right? That's why I wanted to do that. So we have a crucible now. And the cool part is, is anytime we want to, we can break it and we can put it to the side if we want to. So, makes for easier ore processing, which is definitely what we are going for. Now we're also going to need the crucible for something a little bit later for the blast furnace. As you can see we're going to need wrought iron double sheets, so we need a bunch of iron and we need a crucible in the middle. We're also going to need to do, I think they're called, I think they're fire bricks. Yeah, these guys. Fire brick blocks. And fire bricks are made from clay fire bricks. Oh man, expensive. That's what we use to make the blast furnace, which we will get to eventually. So I'm pretty sure I do not have enough um, fire clay. I don't have enough in here. But that's okay. We, we can find more. So I'm going to get together some supplies. Thought I heard a zombie. And uh, I'm going to build our, we're going to build ourselves our bloomery right here. So let me get some of the bricks I want to get and I will be back in just a bit. So what do you guys think of my new window? Okay, really it's not a window. <laughs> so this is where the bloomery is going to go. And I'm going to show you guys like the bare minimum as far as how to make this work. So for the most part all you need to get the bloomery to work and actually I'm going to have to put in some extra pieces here. And then one here. Actually this one's not necessary. Just to give you guys an idea. Um, actually you need like that. So that's this right here is the bare minimum that you need to make a bloomery for blocks. And then you would put your bloomery right here, the block. Well, we're not going to do the bare minimum. And I'm starting to wonder if I have enough blocks for this. So I want this guy to be, you know, impressive. I want it to stick out. I want it to look good. So I might leave the back like that for now and by going higher like this you can go up to three things higher like that and what that does is it gives you um, more capabilities because for each layer <clears throat> in the chimney so if your bloomery block is on this block right here um, then this layer right here gives you the ability to smelt up eight pieces of ore no matter what size they are so this gives you another 8 and then the top one gives you another 8. So you can do a maximum of 24 pieces of ore now uh, with this setup. Now let's see, I have 14 left. I would like, I want to see how this looks. I'm thinking about making the chimney go all the way up. But 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah we can do it. Come on. Um, I missed. <laughs> there. I 
want to see how this looks. I think I'm going to like this better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. So this is where our ladder is actually going to come in handy because you have to put the stuff in from the top. So we'll be able to come up here. You know, we'll be able to throw our stuff in and then come back down and light it. So now for the final aspect to actually place the bloomery block. Bingo! Now this would pop right off if you didn't have it right. So that's how you get into it afterwards. But we have ourselves a bloomery which allows us to make da -da -da -da, wrought iron. Finally! So how do we do it? Let's do it quick. So the first thing we're going to need, uh, I'm just going to bring a stack. So what we need to do is we need to place, and I think I have to shift, yeah, shift click in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It fills the whole block. Okay, that's to get her going. That's for burning. Then what you're going to need, let's see, do we have... We have some in here, and then two more here. I know it's the small stuff, so we're not going to get a huge amount, but it's a start. I haven't actually done any mining for, for any hematite or any iron whatsoever. So now what we do is we climb to the bop, top of the, the bop, the top of the bloomer here, and we throw in up to 24 um, or because we have the full you know set so if you look we actually have exactly 24 so we'll just drop that in you'll see it went into there drop that it I think that went in how come those didn't disappear one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. I don't know if I got enough in there. Oh, there we go. So now you can see it's completely full. And it's listed as molten ore, except it's not molten ore. So, there should be 24 pieces of iron, 24 pieces of charcoal. So we need our fire starter. And, what do we do? Well, ta-da! Ooh, that's, that's bright. So now this will run, and what it's going to do is it's going to cook up the, the iron for us. This is why we're going to need a lot of charcoal. You notice how much we use there? That was 32 pieces of charcoal to, to make up this amount of iron. And it takes roughly about 15 hours, so it's going to take us a while to burn that up. But uh, we'll get there eventually. It'll be the next day since the sun is going down but for me guys that's gonna do it for me for this episode um, Wow! as the winter sets in here I think what we need to do is we need to do some aesthetic work around here we got the bloomery going we got it built which I am extremely happy about which means we can work into wrought iron and that'll get us a decent little ways but we will not be able to go past wrought iron until we build a blast furnace and that is going to take us a lot and I mean a lot of iron so we'll probably replace all of our iron tools and stuff first and we'll take care of those things and you know eventually we'll get to the point where we can build the, the blast furnace but oh the stars are starting to come out 
we're going to enjoy the sunset. And I think next time, like I said, we're going to do some aesthetic type things around here. We got to put some glass in our house, man. We got to we got to keep the cold out as it gets cold here. And uh probably put in a path or something. Oh, sun's going down. So we could use a path to get around to our different places and maybe if we have some time we'll do a little bit of work on the on the barn but not so sure about that but we'll do some of the stuff around here and we'll see and we'll probably take a look at the bloomery as well to get the iron bloom out which will be tomorrow so hey where are the little sheep oh they just weren't rendering in I thought we were missing our little sheep that would have been quite sad so with that guys Thanks for watching, and as always, take it easy.